I think since we've seen a um, the the zero trust type models becoming more prevalent, so zero trust being you know trust no one, right? Uh, do your due diligence on all of your entire supply chain. Make sure everything, everyone, and everything has limited access to systems, et cetera, and so forth. It takes a very stringent approach um, to cybersecurity. I think we're seeing more organizations become proactive. Um, and it's obvious that, you know, when, when we think of cybersecurity accidents, we instantly go to breaches, right? Ransomware, things like that, because that impacts us as consumers of products and applications and any other type of goods and service. And uh, we've seen, especially in the past probably 10 or so years, what those, what those breaches can do to an organization, you know, Equifax or... Um, you know, there, you could sit here and name a ton of them. And that kind of reactive approach could, you know, send an organization to the ground. Um, so I think cybersecurity is becoming less of a buzzword and more of a top of mind initiative in organizations. And so we're seeing, uh, you know, organizations that aren't even regulated right, but who want to have a sound InfoSec program come to us and say, hey, I want to implement your tool. You know, we want to get our ISO 27001 certification just because we want to, or we have, um, we want to manage our policies out of your platform so that we can maintain attestations to policies, for example, even though they don't have an auditor knocking on their door about their policy program. But we're just seeing more and more organizations want to build these sound practices and become more proactive. And certainly in the long run, proactive is best, right? I mean, reactive mindsets cost dollars, they cost reputation, they cost resources, um, and they can be completely detrimental depending on how bad the incident may be. So uh, yeah, I think we'll continue to see that type of shift.